Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the beach. Welcome to your newest free public beach Woo! access, baby. Yeah. And the reason I have these folks behind me is these things don't happen by accident and they don't happen easily. It takes a team of people. It takes really activists. It takes people pushing. It takes funding. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of people working together. This process to open this beach started almost nine years ago. Late 2013, previous commissioners uh, before my tenure had the, for the foresight and the wisdom to see that this site was available. Out of a tragedy of Hurricane Ivan that knocked a condo down that used to be here came an opportunity. And so the commission at that time purchased this property. They spent a little over $3 million. They purchased it so that we could do what we're doing right now, so that we could, pervert, we could preserve critical habitat for endangered species, which we're doing up on those dunes, and so that we could provide public beach access, which we're going to start doing. So the, the question is, and that's great, but the question is, Jeff, why did it take eight, nine years to make this happen? I don't know, because I tell you what, the minute, the minute I found out about this property, I started working to get it open. Because here is what's ha here's what was happening. This is a true story. Now, you, anyone that's heard me talk about this has heard this before. You see that walkover right there? That wooden walkover? It's got a locked gate on it. And it's got a sign that says, no trespassing. Boo. Boo. That's right. <laughs> so, the front of our access point had a locked gate too. And it had signs that said, no trespassing. So... You, me, and the citizens of Escambia County who purchased this couldn't use it. But guess who did? Those folks that live across the street would walk over their walkover through their lock gate and use our beach. And you couldn't, and I couldn't, and we couldn't. That wasn't right. It was a comfortable status quo. No one wanted to do anything about it. So I did something about it, and we did something about it, and now it's open. That's the way this works. Here, here's the thing. When you spend that much money on a piece of property, you ought to do what you said you were going to do. Now, there are critics that said, well, it's terrible. You're going to open it up and it's going to wreck the habitat. You know what? I came here before it was opened and I saw footprints up and down the dunes. I saw Whataburger bags, Taco Bell bags, beer cans. People were trampling up and down these dunes, back and forth. So they weren't doing what they said they were going to do. All they were doing was keeping you from your beach. So I'm very proud of this day, but again, it's, it takes a team effort. So before I go any further into these comments, I want to recognize everyone who was involved in this. And I'm going to start at the top of the list with Tim Day. Yay. Tim, Tim, where are you? Come on up, come on up. This is the man. This is the champion. This is Tim Day. Tim, thank you very much for all your hard work. And I'd like you to, to uh, Acknowledge the people that helped you get this open. Okay, I appreciate it. Um, uh, my name's Tim Day. Obviously, I work for the county in the Natural Resource Management Division. Um, first and foremost, um, I do want to thank the board for their support. Um, at that time, it was Commissioner Gene Valentino. Uh, and very importantly, it, this wouldn't have happened without help from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, they provided approximately $2.2 million towards this acquisition. And uh, the board gracefully, uh, and actually Michael Rhodes back there actually gave up a little bit of parks money uh, to be able to make this come forward. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's been a long labor. Uh, it, it took a little while to find funding to be able to make this a reality. Uh, Commissioner Bragash, uh, went ahead and, and, and lifted that bar to make this happen. <laughs> uh, it wasn't me alone, though. I had, yeah, I had well, <laughs> it was, Led the charge. I'll take that. Uh, but it's uh, just support from other departmental staff, um, development services, our traffic division. Everyone had a little piece in trying to create a public access point uh, that would meet uh, the needs for the public to get here. Uh, and then also starting to put in safeguards to make sure that we're coexisting with the endangered species we're sharing this island with. So, Thank you, Tim. Oh, thank you. 
And I would be remiss if I did not introduce and bring forward to give remarks our county administrator who did a lot. He did a lot to push this thing over the finish line, um, including making sure that the contractor finished on time. So, you know, Wes, you, you've done a lot. Wes Marino, give it up. And look, he's dressed for the occasion, too. I thought we were coming to the beach. Here we are. So, now, this is a great day. It's, it's a great amenity for Skamy County. Uh, for Commissioner Bergash has absolutely championed this cause with the support of, of the whole of the majority of the board. And so it's going to be a great amenity. It's going to be good for the people in the Keys. It's going to be good for Pensacola. And our department's uh, Michael Rhodes, Tim Day, Public Works, all had a hand in, in bringing this to fruition. Uh, Public Works brought their big screener out here. We started cleaning the property. And then the construction kind of progressed from there. So it's, it's a great thing. It's great to see our departments work together. And it was absolutely a team effort to bring this to fruition. And so I'm excited for this today. And I look forward to the future of this uh, great amenity. Right on. Well, thank you. Right on, Wes. All right. We've heard his name mentioned a couple of times. You know, he's not a guy that really likes the spotlight. But let me just tell you one thing. Around this county, this is the man. He keeps the parks clean. He makes sure the ball fields are good for the youth to play. And he polices these beach access points to make sure that the restrooms are clean. He does just a, a bang up job and he never gets the recognition. Um, he gets all the complaints and never the recognition. Um, but I'm gonna bring him up because I wanna recognize him. Let's give it up for Michael Rhodes. Thank you and thank you all. Uh, I'll take credit for the weather. That's about it. No, no, I get to do that. Come on. Uh, okay. No, but uh, again, thanks for our uh, county administrator, Wes Marino, and the administration uh, support, County Commissioner Bergosh, again, and the folks that got behind this. Uh, the parks staff, uh, I shouldn't get the credit. Our staff should get the credit, along with Tim Day's staff, for doing all the, the grunt work to get this place ready. And uh, uh, perfect timing, right? We're hitting perfect. spring break. So, uh, I'll keep it short, and uh, I know some folks are probably ready to go to the beach. I'm so, to thank beach. you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh yeah. And I want I have I have a special person here today. One of the things that I'm very very proud about, and all of you should be very very thankful for, is the fact that not only did we create a public beach access point for the citizens, but we made it for every citizen. You see, that walk over the, over there, it has steps. It doesn't have a ramp. Of course, it's behind a locked gate. You couldn't use it anyway. When we constructed this and when we designed it, and it's a testament to our staff, we designed it so that everyone could access it, even those with disabilities. Yeah. And I think that's very important. And, and to that point, I'd like to introduce Carolyn Growey. Carolyn uh, works for the Center for Independent Living, and I'd like her to give some words as well. Carolyn, welcome. Thank you, Commissioner Rakash, and thank you to all the staff uh, from, from both Tim and, and Michael's uh, departments and all of our advocates here. Yes. Um, you know, when, when we look at uh, what does access look like, uh, the Center for Independent Living is all about access and inclusion to infrastructure, participation, being able to have everybody do everything that everyone else can do. We know that it's in process. Uh, as we continue to keep making more places more accessible as we continue to go forward and uh, being able to have uh, a new space open that's towards the direction of where we all want to be. And of course, we live here in uh, Florida, in, in Pensacola, Perdido Key. We want to be able to do everything everybody else does. And so by having an access ramp and being able to put our feet in the sand, uh, people with disabilities are having the same opportunities as everybody else in our community. So thank you. And we want to keep working with the county, keep working with the citizens, keep working with everyone to make everybody have the same opportunities to better our community as a whole. So thank you again. All right. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great day. These, these are the kind of days that being in elected office, um, you know, you have a lot of negative things that happen, right? People don't like a decision you made, whatever the case might be. But days like this, it's a love fest. And so I'm, I just want to take it in for a minute and say thank you to everyone here. And I want to give a special shout out to Larry Downs Jr. and Melissa Pino and Kevin Wade. We had, thank you, Larry. We had a lot of people. And then I would be remiss. And don't forget, Diane. Sherry Myers is here. Sherry, oh, I, I, oh, I am remiss. I, our city council member, Sherry Myers, is here. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you for being out here. I didn't see you. Um, Diane Crummel and the ladies from Save Pensacola Beach. They're here. Thank you. 
So many people got behind this effort when they found out about it. The, the thing is, they didn't know about it. But once they found out about it, they coalesced, they gelled, they became activists, they came to the meetings, they pressured. And I would be remiss if I did not thank my counterparts. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know that any of them could make it down here today, but Commissioner Stephen Berry from District 5, Commissioner Lumen May from District 3, and Commissioner Robert Bender from District 4 were key and critical to this project. So thank you to my counterparts. Correct. And former commissioner from District 4 and current mayor, Grover Robinson, was behind the effort as well. So let's give it up for the mayor. Well, if I've forgotten you, if you're out there and you're someone that helped with this, I apologize. Um, but I think I've thanked everyone. If I forgot you, I thank you too. Now, the speeches are over. We're going to walk over to that ribbon and we're going to cut that thing. So I want everyone over there behind me when we cut that ribbon because it's a big deal. All right, let's do it. Beach is open. Oh, yeah.